As you know, this uh, parsha, parsha Smase, speaks about the 42 journeys that the Jews journeyed from when they left Eretz Mitzrayim till they got to the land of Israel, which was 42 different uh, destinations and different stops that they went. Some places they stayed for a day, some they stayed for a month, some for a year, and one place, Kadesh, they stayed for 19 years. That was the longest uh, stop in their 42 journeys. And this uh, ended up, and the Torah goes through in the Parsha Smase, the name of each place where they left and where they arrived, the name of these journeys. In other words, not just telling us we went and we stopped 42 places, but tells us the names of the location and that they left and they traveled to the next location and so on. So the question is, why did they have to go through 42 journeys? Why couldn't they just go one a few journeys? What's the 42? Number two, when the Torah says that these are the 42 journeys that they went, it says uh, they went 42 journeys, journeys through Moshe and Aaron, because Moshe and Aaron led them. However, we know that Aaron passed away on Rosh Chodesh Av, which is uh, Friday, and the Jews still continued for another 10 months till Moshe died. They went through another 12 journeys. So at least 12 or 13 journeys were not with Aaron. It was just with Moshe. Yet the Torah says, These are the journeys that the Jews left Egypt in the, in the hands of Moshe and Aaron. So that means Aaron, even though he wasn't alive, for the last 12 journeys, it's still as if he led the 12 journeys. What does that mean? And number three, what does this have to do with us today? Like, why do I have to know that they went from Punon to Sukkot, and they went from uh, they went from uh, Gidgod to Yatvasa? But we don't know the places don't exist anymore. So why is the Torah putting it? Whatever the Torah puts, it's something for us today. That means there's a place in our mind that's called Gilgod, and we're going from Yechor HaGidgod to Yatvasa. Or you're going from Misarot to Bnei Yaakon. What does it got to do? So the Torah says that these 42 journeys are our journeys of life. Going out of Egypt is when you come out of your mother's womb, because in your mother's womb you're in Egypt. You're con, uh, con, uh, con, uh, con, con, confined to boundaries. When you come out, that's your exodus of Egypt. But that's the first journey. Then you have another 41 journeys in life. Each journey here represents your 42 journeys in life till you get to the ultimate where your soul goes back to Hashem at 120. So these 42 stops... And what the Jews went through is what we go through in life. So in one place they made a golden calf. In our lives we have times that we worship golden calf, which means worshiping money, worshiping you know physicality, worshiping whatever, giving. Then there is uh, times they complained about food. There's times they they rebelled against the leadership of Moshe, Chatzeros. They made Korach. They rebelled. We have times in life we rebel against God. We rebel against the leaders. And all this is to help us going through our journey. However, the interesting thing of 42 is very interesting because 42 is six times seven. You have seven attributes and then six is because each attribute of the seven attributes is refined by the other six. So that means if you have kindness, severity, Mercy, determination, humility, bonding, and receiving, which is a seven. Each one includes the other six in them. So to refine yourself and to make yourself ready for the journey of 120 years, you have to constantly work on your six attributes, seven attributes by refining them, not just in a general sense, but refining them in a detailed uh, uh, detail. Who helps you do that? Moshe and Aaron. What's Moshe? Torah. What's Aaron? Prayer. 
Why? Because Moshe is the one that brings God to us. Aaron is the one that brings the Jew to God. Why? Aaron lit the menorah. What was the menorah? The menorah represents the seven uh, different types of Jewish people, the seven character traits. And he kindles the menorah and it goes up a flame up. So Aaron's job was to bring us to God. Moshe's job was to bring God to us. <clears throat> so Torah is God's wisdom to us. Mitzvah is God's command to us. So that's Moshe gave us. Aaron is davening, prayer. So if you want to be successful in your 42 journeys, you need Moshe, Torah, and Mitzvah, and you need davening, which is Aaron. Together, if you have Moshe and Aaron, sometimes you have to do Moshe first, learning first, and then davening. Sometimes Aaron is first davening first and then learning. Either way, sometimes Moshe is first, sometimes Aaron is first, but you need them both. And through that, you'll have a successful journey that you'll be able to reach the land of Israel in your spiritual way. And of course, physically, that when all the Jews will follow the Torah mitzvahs and all Jews will daven and connect to Hashem, we will merit that this Tisha B'Av will celebrate in Eretz Yisrael with Mashiach Amen. Ani mami